Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at the weather here in the Oracle, Texas as we go into the weekend and through all of next week. And it looks like we do have another cold front which is going to be sliding its way through the Oracle Text very late Saturday and Saturday night. And it's looking very promising now that we will see thunderstorms as a result of this uh, cold front arriving uh, during the latter stages of Saturday and uh, Saturday evening. Severe weather will be a possibility. The latest from the Storm Prediction Center does show that we will see a slight risk for severe storms over the eastern half of southwest Arkansas, all of northwest Louisiana, and the extreme eastern sections of Texas. Elsewhere, the severe weather risk looking a bit lower at marginal. That means we have uh, the likelihood of seeing some isolated to scattered reports of severe weather. Wind probably going to be our biggest concern. I'll show you the uh, tornado and hail uh, possibilities here with Futurecast in a second. So let's take a look at, uh, first of all, Robin Soyota, Futurecast. And uh, we have seen the clouds begin to decrease across the region during this Thursday afternoon. That process will continue as we'll see a mostly clear sky tonight. Tomorrow, expect lots of sun in the morning. The clouds begin to increase a little bit over the western edge of the area very late in the day. Uh, we'll see a mostly cloudy sky tomorrow night. Slight chance for a passing shower. And then Saturday, we will see that frontal system begin to approach. Notice to the northwest of us, the wind shift here. That's where the cold front will be as we wake up Saturday morning up towards Oklahoma City. So let's move this forward. And you can see that as we progress our way into the afternoon, the scattered showers and thunderstorms begin to develop. We could see some activity well ahead of the cold front. Uh, early afternoon over the eastern sections of the region and you can see the storm starting to develop at 2 p.m over the northwestern edge of the region uh, eventually as the front moves in we'll see thunderstorms fire up over the middle part of the oracle text and these storms will gradually progress their way towards the east as the frontal system moves through the area uh, as we move through saturday evening and saturday night again those storms move out the clouds will move out we clear out saturday night and that'll set the stage for a nice day for actually both Sunday and Monday looking pretty good with the clouds beginning to increase once again for uh, Tuesday. Meantime, as far as the threats, let's uh, show you the Futurecast depiction of uh, hail possibilities. And again, uh, anything pink is where hail is possible. Notice we do have some darker blacks and even some grays in here. So it's possible we could have a few reports of quarter sized hail, especially over the eastern half of the area, as you can see here. As far as the possibility of tornadoes, it will be possible. Uh, you can see the uh, swaths indicated here a bit more organized where the storms um, move later in the evening over the uh, north central sections and northeastern sections of Louisiana. So again, a, thunder or a tornado possible uh, pretty much anywhere across the re region, but that risk may be a little bit higher over the eastern edge of the area. At this point, it uh, looks like a relatively low end tornado risk, but again, one or two will be a possibility. As far as rainfall potential, where the storms uh, arrive later, the rain will be heaviest. And you can see that will occur over the eastern sections of the area from Magnolia to Minden down into the eastern edge of the area, parts of Natchitoches Parish. We could see over an inch uh, where the, storm, the uh, frontal system arrives a bit sooner, rainfall totals could be much more limited, basically less than a tenth of an inch. So a big range in rainfall potential across the Oracle Text moving through Saturday. Now longer range as we look at the overall pattern, you can see the upper level trough here. That's what's going to produce the possibility for storms here uh, for Saturday. That pushes on through. We'll see a couple days of nice weather. And then beginning in the middle of the week, another trough moves into the northwestern sections of the country. We'll see the southwesterly flow set up. At the very least, we'll see lots of clouds uh, through the last half of next week with a possibility for a few rounds of rain. Right now, severe weather prospects looking very low and rainfall potential also looking very low uh, towards the end of the week and uh, might see a little bit of an uptick as we go into the end of the 10 day period as we look ahead to Sunday of next weekend. Meantime, your forecast for tonight is looking mostly clear. A pretty nice night. Temperatures settling relatively close to normal as we'll be at 57 degrees in Shreveport. 
right around 56 in Texarkana, 57 degrees in Marshall. Tomorrow, I expect to see a mostly sunny sky for much of the day. A few clouds develop during the afternoon as temperatures will be warmer with a breezy south wind at 10 to 15. Expect highs in the low to middle 80s. Looking at 82 in Texarkana, 84 degrees in Shreveport, 84 also for the daytime high tomorrow in Natchitoches. We'll be expecting similar temperatures here for Saturday ahead of that cold front as daytime highs will warm back into the middle 80s. Again, a high potential weather impact Saturday because of the threat for severe weather. Looking pretty nice for a couple days. Another shot for some uh, rain as we move into the middle of next week. That slight chance of rain continues uh, through Friday. Maybe a break next Saturday and more showers and thunderstorms. A slight possibility for Sunday. Still a great deal of uncertainty as to how things will play out uh, during the last half of next week. One thing that is certain is that it will be warm. As high as next week for the most part will settle into the low to middle 80s. Lows will eventually, after 47 Monday morning, we should return to uh, low 60s for morning lows uh, by the last half of next week. So again, nice Friday to close out the work week and then strong to severe thunderstorms. Uh, decent possibility here, especially for the east and southeastern half of the Arkletex for Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening.